Hello all, I am Harry Keynes for the Block Festival. The Block is a celebration of independent vision and artistic expression. This year's festival will be held on Friday, September 28th and Saturday, September 29th in downtown Logan's Historic Theater District. And we are here with Andy Larmer. Hello, Andy. How's it going? Andy is the program uh, programmer for the film venues at the Block. Andy, tell us a little bit about this year's Block and the kind of films and how many films we will have this year. Great, yeah. So we got uh, two films from Sundance. One of them is a narrative film. It's called Writer. It's going to be featured on Friday at 7 o'clock. And we also have another Sundance film called um, uh, Science Fair. It's about a national science fair uh, with high school students. Looks like a great film. It's also a Sundance feature, documentary feature. And uh, we have three narrative features, which are going to be great. One of them is including Writer. And then we also have four narrative, uh, or sorry, four documentary features. We also have a couple of three sets of narrative shorts, a couple sets of documentary shorts. Uh, we do have some student-made films, uh, like college uh, film students. We also have a set that features uh, local high school students, which is always a lot of fun to showcase uh, local talent as well. One of the narrative sets, uh, short sets, is uh, great because it features Utah talent. That's one thing that we always do with the block is feature Utah artists, which is great, and so that's a good set as well. So. A lot of variety. We also have uh, experimental rooms where uh, there's some virtual reality experiences, but also just some abstract um, shorts, which will be a lot of fun as well. So yes, yeah, so if I remember correctly, they'll be in the small rooms here in the block area itself, so people can walk around yeah. and, and taste different films and see what they like. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, and it's um, uh, you know the experimental ones. You get, it's just like a gallery; they can walk in and look at what they want, and it's, it's pretty fun. So, well, why don't you tell us a little bit when it comes to student films? In events like The Block, how good are events like this in getting students to get their films out, to get seen, and to get noticed? You know, that's one thing we notice over the years that we have some local filmmakers that do uh, get their, their, get an audience here to, to watch their film. And that's so important and crucial for a filmmaker to actually get their film in front of an audience so they can kind of engage where they're at as a storyteller, whether they hit the mark or not. And it's been a really good thing for local filmmakers and Utah filmmakers. But I'd also say that. Uh, it's good for the community here because you don't get much access to independent cinema. No, uh, hardly at all. Yeah. As, a, uh, as someone who loves independent film, I often find myself having to go down to Salt Lake City. Yeah, and so an event like this here in Logan is amazing because you get access to, to good films. Um, it, it's not like a big popcorn flick, which those are fun too, but this is, I don't know, makes you think more, uh, makes you uh, appreciate the filmmaking process and the storytelling. It's a, it's a bit different, uh, out of the unusual, uh, kind of pushes you out of a comfort zone and helps you see new things and have new understandings and have new conversations, which is really important. And you don't always get that with a popcorn flick. No, you don't. And, and right now, I believe, as, as a, someone who loves documentary film, that right now we are seeing, if not a golden age of, of documentary films, we, we're certainly seeing tons of quality. Uh, do you find that some of the technology that, that people younger than us have uh, they could film an entire movie with, with an iPhone 10. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that, that the technology that's available to, to younger students today is allowing for more documentary and even uh, journalistic films to come out that, that people can get their hands on more readily because of all uh, the streaming services and such? You bet. Uh, I mean, when I started out, um, like in film school, I had to spend a long time in class before I could even touch a camera. And now kids have a camera that's almost just as good in their pocket they can pull out and film anything they want. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing that, uh, that they can capture all of these images and whatnot and, and create their own stories, learn how to be their own storytellers. Not only that, the, the software and whatnot is so accessible. So they can literally sit down and have their own film pretty quick just by tools they have in their pocket, which is amazing. Yeah, they don't even need to set up their, their basements anymore. They could do it in their bedroom. They can, yes. yes. It's pretty incredible. And, you know, some of that can become oversaturated with content. Uh, but, you know, if you're good, then that shines through and it shows. So. So we are now right in the middle of the magnificent and beautiful Utah Theater in downtown Logan. Uh, this is one of the venues, correct? It is, yeah. So here in the Utah Theater, it's gonna feature all the documentary, uh, both the features and also the shorts. So this is kind of like the documentary house. Mm -hmm. And the next door at the Lyric Theater is the other venue we have this year. And that is going to feature the narratives uh, and, and uh, both the features and the shorts. So, so that's, that's kind of, if you want documentary, come to the Utah. If you want narrative, go to the Lyric. So the film I'm most excited about is a film called Freedom Fry. It's about, uh, it's called Freedom Fry, 
Jump in the Musical. It's a documentary about a band uh, um, called Freedom Fry. And it follows them on tour, like going on tour and, and the, the ups and the downs of doing that. It's a lot of fun. It's very much like a cinema verite, like in the action, capturing in the now, which is a lot of fun. But I'm a sucker for uh, rockumentaries, and so I like that one. It's pretty good. Um, the other films that we have, uh, we talked about earlier, the Sundance film. So Friday night in the Lyric Theater at 7.30, it's gonna, we're going to premiere The Writer, which was a Sundance film. It's a narrative. Um, also, early that day at 6 o'clock, uh, we're going to premiere a locally made film called Forward. It's made by uh, Mason, um, Mason Wendell. Mason Wendell. And uh, you know, it's, it involves the, uh, the, the financing and the building of the new schools here in the valley. So there's a newspaper as well. So that's when that film is premiering, so 6 o'clock. And then Saturday, the other Sundance film that we have, the headliner, is at 7 o'clock. And it's, it's called uh, Science Fair. And that's going to premiere here in the Utah Theater. So that's the schedule of the ones, the, the, the ones that were kind of, that, that, were, that are featured in, that are uh, pro, uh, headliner films. Yes, so yeah. they'll be the feature films 7.30 on Friday and Saturday, either here at the Utah or next door at the Lyric. 7.30 uh, on Friday mm -hmm. in the Lyric, 7 o'clock here in the Utah. So, and then the, the forward film, 6 o'clock in the Lyric Theater on Friday. Yes, and uh, we'll have the experimental films in some of the buildings right here close to Center and Main, right in the middle of the block. Yeah, you bet. All right, excellent. Speaking with Andy Larmer, the great films at the Block Festival can be seen on Friday, September 28th, and Saturday, September 29th in downtown Logan's Historic Theater District. To purchase a pass or to see the full venue of events or to volunteer, please visit us at theblockfestival.org. You can also visit The Block on Facebook and Instagram. For The Block, I am Harry Keynes.